Hi, Pete Warrington of Shooting Sports Magazine. Welcome to Gunmark TV. And no, we're not shooting this superb Smith & Wesson 1522, which just happens to be mine today. We are looking, unboxing, well it's unboxed anyway, the new Excite 2 HD, high definition. Um, Excite hit the UK last year, 2015, with the original models. There's two of them, and they were a day and night digital scope. Clever idea. Uh, I had a very early model and it didn't live up to expectations at all. I tried the next, the, the, the higher spec model and it was much better. Um, this is the next step up. A year later they launched the, the HD model. And though it looks very similar to the original, it's got a host of other accessories on it and also some changes. As you can see, it fits on the gun with a Picatinny type rail, uh, which is easy. Uh, you can get rails for bolt action guns, rim fires. I mean, this is lovely because it's got a rail on it already. Um, major change physically is uh, they've moved the focus, which was a ring around here, which was very hard to operate when you had the IR on, to this drum at the top, which is quite useful. They've slimmed this down, um, so basically you haven't any problems with focusing because with any, any digital type night vision scope, you've got to focus front and back, uh, unlike a day scope. There's so many features you really need to check out the whole list. It will probably take about 10 minutes at least what they are. But uh, you have Wi Fi, uh, GPS, uh, a, an accelerometer, which is how fast you walk, which is quite amusing. Um, you now have six, sorry, seven different reticles from the original ones. One is a mill dot style, which is quite useful. Another one's a ladder type, and there's dot circles and a few things like that, which is very good. Um, you now have a ballistic package on here where you enter your uh, bullet weight, uh, ballistic coefficient, speed, wind, and um, then the Excite has a barometer built in so it can work out air pressure, altitude, temperature, and factor it all in. Operation is by this keypad, which is again quite clever. You press the power button, comes on, you select it, and you navigate, you press enter in the middle, you get the menu up, you click onto the menu, and you get all your things like you've got. You've now got seven different reticle colours, reticle choice. Um, obviously, you can switch from day to night with it. Um, what is the weirdest thing is these two buttons here control the magnification because there's, not, there's, there's no winding in the magnification. Everything is done electronically th th through the processor. So you look through the scope, press this button here, and the magnification clips up. And inside the view, you have a, j just a, a readout of where the magnification is and vice versa. Um, the m menu, though, there's quite a, it's quite a lot to it. It's very easy to navigate, and they have different uh, menu sections for different areas. So you can adjust brightness. Uh, you can then pick your reticle, go somewhere else. Um, it's clever. This is the top end model, which is a four to sorry a five twenty with a very large eighty five millimeter objective, which is quite useful. It's going to suck that light in very well. Um, We've just started using it today. I'm taking it out tonight to see how it works in the dark. But compared to my original 3 to 12 by 50 X site, uh, I can zero at 50 yards. I can zero at 100 yards because I can actually see the fall of shot. This has the classic one shot zero where you fire your shot, maintain the aim, uh, select zero, and then what you do, you by the means of these cursor buttons here, you move through the reticle to the bullet hole, set it, check zero. Uh, in the old days, you, at 25 yards, I couldn't see full of shot in my 3 to 12. This thing I can see, um, should we say, full bob bullet holes at, at 100 and too, too easily at 50, 60 yards, which is quite nice. Um, as well as the scope, and I'm, I'm, just to let you know, guys, I'll be doing a full evaluation of the scope in shooting sports. It's probably going to take two issues because there's a lot to talk about. So don't worry, this, this is just a quick look. Uh, the unit comes with a sunshade and quite unusually a little obscure plate which I believe will be used when it's really bright so it lets less, lets less light in. Um, again included is a little IR illuminator which clips onto the Picatinny rail here, um, screws on, clips on and it's, it's a typical IR, batteries go in, turn it on, you plus minus on, on, the, on the brightness plus you can focus the beam comes its own little sack which is quite sweet. You get a little C-spanner so you can adjust the illuminator at the angle to it how you just want to set it up. Um, the, 
this 5 to 20 by 85 is quoted by Scott Country at 779 I think but it's under 800 pounds um, and when you compare what else is out there uh, it's ex more expensive than some digital add-ons but it's a full digital night and day scope um, and I reckon it's going to sell quite well. Um, I, I also reckon, having talked to ATN, that they, they freely admitted that the, the early models did have some limitations and this has been made in, in reference to that. This is not an early model rejigged, it's a complete new scope. They've maintained, as I said, they've maintained this, this keypad system, um, battery and um, uh, access port for, for your car, uh, for a little micro SD card. And that's the other thing about this is that um, because it's totally digital, there's no, those will touch moving parts if you know what I mean, um, you can get upgrades or, uh, or firmware upgrades. Uh, when I got this, what you, do, you register with ATN and they send you down the firmware, you stick in your micro SD card, uh, download to that, put it in, turn the scope on, the scope says, do you want to download? You say yes, it downloads that information. Now, occasionally there will be firmware updates. With the first one, there were quite a few firmware updates. Um, I had a problem with uh, the reticle, which is the moving image reticle when you zero it. Uh, it was moving, when you magnified, the, zip, the reticle actually moved away from the view, you couldn't see the reticle. And then they had a firmware update which sorted that. And it, it, it is quite amazing that you can have an issue with a scope on an electronic or program basis that can be totally sorted by pulling out the SD card, downloading, refitting, and downloading the scope, and you're back to where you should be. Um, it is probably the way forward, I don't know, but um, I've been shooting it this morning, and I say visually, the HD function impressed the hell out of me, it's really nice. And tonight, wait for about 10 o'clock, it gets dark, I'm going to use it with, um, night, as a night vision scope for the first time, uh, but we we're reporting that, but I think that 18 have probably got this one right, and it, it's not bad at all. You're probably noticing as well that uh, this is just thought I'd get it in there, we're talking. Javelin bipods, you guys know about that from Spartan Precision. Very nice, very posh bipods, very clever. They use a magnetic attachment point. Um, there's no, no catches, no screws, no buttons, literally this is a magnet and it locks into a socket in the rifle. This is a new um, Picatinny rail adapter which is really sweet. It clamps onto any Picatinny rail um, so you don't have to put, like I've got a Harris bipod and I love Harris bipods but on any rifle a Harris bipod will put a fair bit of weight up front. Not this, I mean this weighs peanuts because it's, it's, uh, it's carbon fibre. Um, but So it just slots on like this or you can get a gunsmith adapter or you can get an external socket to fit on any sort of rifle. Um, really quite clever and you've got get out there you've got cant on it you've got limited travis which is more than enough for tracking anything legs are length adjustable the old ones are length adjustable but they used to come out these ones got positive stops built into them which is rather clever uh, this one is probably about the same height as a harris um, extended and, 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 and retracted but they the, but uh, Spartan have rethought the um, the feet they've got big rubber feet here for any surface but these are tungsten carbide tips and on shiny surfaces as you're probably aware uh, bipods can shift but these really dig in um, they are it's a clever design it's they're not cheap I'll be the first to admit they're far from cheap but it's it's a really clever design um, and when you don't want it Take it up, put it in your pocket, or put it, put it on a swing, and it's there. But if you need a bipod, it's maybe not as quick, quick as flipping down the legs on your Harris, but it's there, it's stable, it shoots, and when you finish shooting, you don't want it, off it comes. So, two things to look out for. Excite 2 HD, the new, what I call the Mark II Javelin Bipod from Spartan Precision, and the new Picatinny adapter. So. Keep an eye out, we'll be doing more of these uh, little unboxing type look at this gear stuff, so carry on.